world. So guys, today we have a special guest for our video and that is Mango. So guess what we are making? We are making a simple mango rubber cake with lots of yummy dry fruits. Let's get baking. So there are some preparations to do first. First we have to puree our mango. And grease your cake mold with ghee or oil and sprinkle it with maida. This makes sure the cake doesn't stick. And last preparation is to sprinkle some maida on your dry fruits. It makes sure that they don't sink into the bottom when the batter is ready. Now this is ready. Let's see how to make the cake batter. Let's do it in the jar so we don't make many utensils. First, I'm adding 1 cup milk. I took all the measures in this cup. I'm adding one and a half cup of Bombay Rava. Half cup sugar. One fourth cup oil. Now let's mix the batter. You have to mix it into a smooth paste. Now let it sit for half an hour. In the meanwhile, I am making a glaze for my cake. First, you have to take some mango puree. Now I am adding 3 teaspoons of sugar. Let's put it onto the stove. Cook it in medium flame until it has a shiny look. I'll show it to you how it looks. So guys you can see it is reduced in quantity and you can see a bit of a shining look on it. Add 2 drops of lemon juice so that it doesn't thicken. Now our glaze is ready. Now, put a cake ring in the cooker and preheat the cooker for 5 to 10 minutes in low flame. So guys, our batter has set for half an hour. Now, I am adding 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 pinch of baking soda and add some milk as per the consistency of the batter. Mix it properly. So guys, our batter is ready. Now add your dry fruits in. And fold it in. So guys, our batter is ready. Now let's transfer it into the mold. Now, Tap it so that there are no air bubbles. Now put it into the cooker and bake it for 20 minutes. I transferred it into the cooker and close the lid, put a gasket but no whistle. So guys let's check if the cake is done. Wow look at that. So guys, the cake is done. Let it cool down until it reaches room temperature. Our cake has cooled down to room temperature. Now I'll shift it into a plate. Wow, look at that. So fluffy and soft. Now I'll cut it into half. So guys, now I have cut the cake into half. Wow! Now I spread the glaze which we made earlier. 
Maria. So guys, I'll spread it properly. Now, I'll add some tutti frutti and some chopped almonds. Just to give the crunch of the almonds. So guys, now I'll put the second layer on the top. And glaze the top as well. So guys, I'll spread it properly. Now, I'll add the remaining tutti frutties and almonds. Wow, it looks so cute and so beautiful. So guys, our cake is ready. So guys, now I'm decorating it like this. Now our cake is well decorated and it looks so yummy. Now let's taste it. So guys, now let's cut it. Wow. into my plate. Let's taste. Mm. Mm. It is so nice that so yummy. I I like it much more than the normal cakes and I hope you guys also do like it. Comment down in the box below what my next video should be and if you had any confusions in the recipe, the recipe will be in the description box below. And make sure you share, comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Until then, goodbye!